Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Before jumping any further into today's video, be sure to click that subscribe button. We are trying to reach 5k. That is the next goal for this channel, so join the family if you haven't already. I post new videos three times a week, so there is always new content to binge. In 2020, I challenged myself to a low buy, and one of the reasons I did that is because I wanted to see how many products I actually finished up when I wasn't bringing as much into my life. And turns out, I used up so many products that I actually needed to split this big 20 20 empties video into two parts. So today I wanted to show you guys every single beauty item, hair care item, and any sort of like fragrance item that I used up for the year. And then the next video that'll be on this channel is going to be all of these skincare items that I used up because I literally had to dedicate an entire video to just that alone. Without further ado, I'm just gonna hop right into the video. I think we're gonna start with hair care. So I've got two Lululemon bags that I filled up with all of the products. Oh wait, that's the makeup. Here's the hair care. So I'm just gonna go through this in no particular order. I'm I'm kind of excited to see what's in some of these bags because obviously like January of 2020 feels so long ago I don't even remember what I used up. I have a couple repeat products in here just because you know when I find something that's like a part of my stable routine I just continue to use it so right at the top of the bag I see two of the Pyridor Hair Thinning Therapy Energizing Scalp Serums. As far as shampoo and conditioner goes, you know, I go through that so quickly, so I didn't want to hold on to any unless they were like a really like standout shampoo or conditioner. And this one definitely was for me. This is the Kerastase Length Strengthening Shampoo. Definitely expensive, but totally worth it. I've actually been thinking about going back to this recently. It's really good for anybody with longer hair who just wants to keep it as strong and as healthy as possible. Prevent breakage. So for somebody like me who uses heat on their hair a lot. This is really great. This was such a good shampoo. I actually just finished this up recently. This is the IGK First Class Detoxifying Charcoal Shampoo. If you're a fan of the dry shampoo, you will love the shampoo itself. It's a super great clarifying shampoo that doesn't leave your scalp feeling dry. It doesn't leave your hair feeling dry. It has a great scent that like lasts in your hair all day. And honestly, I feel like clarifying shampoos can get really expensive. I think this one's only like $27, so totally worth it in my book. This right here is the Verve hydrating mask. I wanted to try this just because I know the Verb has really affordable um, like luxury hair care products. To be completely honest, it was just okay. I didn't really find that it was that hydrating. It kind of just felt like a normal conditioner for me. So I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this. I have both a full size and a mini size of the Briogeo uh, Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask. This on the other hand is such a good mask and it is totally worth the price. It makes my hair feel super hydrated but it doesn't make it feel oily. Sometimes I feel like with really intense hydrating masks I feel like my hair gets greasy faster and I have to end up washing it more than I typically would. That isn't the case with this. It's honestly again like such a hero product for me. I'll probably be repurchasing this soon. This is the Way Air Dry Foam. Um, I use this every single time I leave my hair natural because my hair is naturally wavy. I love this stuff. I will absolutely be repurchasing this. I love Way products. They smell amazing. The price is so right and I I haven't found a product from them yet that I wasn't super impressed with. And speaking of Way, I also finished up a mini size of their Wave Spray. I've actually been meaning to pick up another one of this. It's just reminded me of that. I love using this to just intensify my natural waves. And this is the only Wave Spray I've ever used that doesn't make my hair feel crunchy. And it smells like rose. It seriously smells so good. I used this up months ago and I can still smell it. I feel like everybody and their mother has tried this product, but it works so well. I finished up the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product. This stuff is just so good. It is expensive, but it honestly just does the best job at like keeping your hair super soft, protecting it from heat, uh, just keeping it from being damaged and like split end prevention. It's just, it's one of the best products out there. This is my favorite hair oil. I honestly don't think I'll ever use another one. This is the Moroccan oil hair oil in the light formula. Even though I don't have thin hair, which is what this is typically like used for, I like the light formula just because I find that it doesn't weigh my hair down. It's a little bit of a thinner formula so I can use more of it and like it doesn't look super oily and it doesn't get built up super fast. And then last but certainly not least for the hair care items, I used up two products from Orbe which is one of my favorite like hair care brands even though they are ridiculously expensive. Like this is the epitome of like luxury hair product but it works so well. For my time working at Barney's, I definitely like stocked up on Orbe products and kind of similar to Way, I've never found a product from them that has ever disappointed me. So I finished up a can of their dry texturizing spray which just gives you like a little bit more volume and it can also double as a dry shampoo. And then I also finished up a can of their Wave and Shine spray. I love this stuff. Again, anytime I'm leaving my hair now 
natural. It doesn't leave it feeling crunchy, but it helps hold it. It helps eliminate the frizz. It's just the best. So up next we have all of the makeup and fragrances that I used up this year. I wasn't expecting to accumulate that many just because it obviously is much harder to like go through a makeup product, but I think I actually like used up a pretty decent amount of stuff, especially considering that we've been living in a pandemic and I haven't been doing my makeup as often. This isn't technically a makeup product, but it's also not skincare either, so I just wanted to include it in this video. Um, I finished up a mini size of the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. I love this brush cleaner. It's my favorite. It's super affordable. It does a really good job at just spot cleaning your brushes. It's not like for a super, super deep clean, so you're still gonna wanna like deep clean your brushes every once in a while. But for just like on the go, any makeup artist out there, I used to use this all the time when I was working with clients at e.l.f. It's just the best, and it smells good too. It's really strong, but it does smell really nice. I finished up this MAC Fix Plus. This is one of my favorite setting sprays, just for like a day where I don't really need my makeup to be like super long lasting. We have another mini size of the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. Again, and this is not a makeup item, but it's definitely a beauty item. Um, I finished up these Isla Paradise self tanning drops for the face and body. This is what I use anytime I want to self tan my face. This is in the color light. Recently, I switched to the color medium just so that I didn't have to like reapply so often, but it's one of my favorite like self tanning products and I couldn't recommend it more. It's kind of foolproof in my opinion. You just mix it in with your moisturizer. You can apply it during the morning or night. It develops over the course of like four to six hours and it looks super natural. I finished up this Tarte Pro Glow to Go palette. Now I actually only bought it for the bronzer and then this highlight color and the color Burst. I don't really love the color Gleam on me. It's a little too silvery. So I bought it for these two shades. And as you can clearly see, I loved them and I finished them up. I finished this Physicians Formula Butter Blush in the color Natural Glow. I finished up the Too Faced Peach Lip Balm. You guys know I'm all about like my lip treatments. And speaking of which, I also see a Laneige Glowy Lip Balm here in the peach scent. This actually ended up being one of my favorite makeup products of the year. I feel like I finished it up so fast. This is the Glossier Priming Moisture Balance. This is their primer for oil control. So anybody who's more combo to oily, it basically just feels like a really lightweight gel moisturizer, but it's a makeup primer. I feel like it made my skin look so smooth. It definitely helped control the oils, but it didn't leave my skin feeling dry. Earlier this year, you guys probably remember, I was really loving the powder foundations. Now I feel like I've just gone back to like tinted moisturizers and full coverage foundations, but this was really nice while it lasted. This is the Bare Minerals Blemish Rescue Skin Clearing Loose Powder Foundation. This was specifically for those who are a little bit more acne prone. It was really full coverage. I feel like it didn't emphasize, like if I was dealing with any dryness, I feel like it never really emphasized that and it was really nice. I see two brow gels next to each other. Um, so this is the Essence Make Me Brow um, like eyebrow gel. And then this was a mini size of the Anastasia Brow gel. <laughs> Two other lip treatments in here, the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask. Oh, it was so good. And then they went and changed the formula. So this was the last container that I had of the original formula and I miss it so much. And then this is the Jack Black Intense Therapy Lip Balm in Natural Mint. Again, one of like my staples um, for overnight specifically, even though you could probably use it during the day too because it has SPF in it. We have a couple mascaras. This is a mini size of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, hands down like my favorite mascara. Mascara. And then we have a mini size of the Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. Both of these are great. I always get mini sizes in my mascara just because you should be replacing them every three months or so. So I feel like in order to not waste product, mini is always the way to go. I have two eyeshadow primers that I finished up. This one was from Lorac. Really great, worked so well at canceling out any sort of like veining. And then this was the NYX Waterproof Eyeshadow Primer. This was okay, the formula was a little thin, so I felt like I had to use like a lot of product at once. Two more brow products. Um, this is one of my favorites, the Sephora Waterproof Brow Pencil in the shade 08 Chocolate Brown. I still use this all the time. It's so good and it's actually really cheap. And then I also finished up one of the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencils in number six. This is really good, but it's honestly a little too expensive um, for me when it comes to brow pencils just because I feel like I use them up so fast. So I'd rather get a cheaper one like the Sephora Collection one. I finished 
finished up this e.l.f. lip liner in the color dark brown. The e.l.f. lip liners are some of my favorites. I'm actually wearing one today. They're super creamy, they're really long lasting, and they can double just as like a full on lip color. I really miss this product and I didn't remember it until I just pulled it out of the bag. This is the Smashbox Studio Skin Flawless 24 Hour Concealer. I was recommended this by a friend of mine who also used to work at e.l.f. with me. She was a makeup artist there like myself. It's so good, it's so full coverage, but it doesn't crease, it looks beautiful on the skin, it looks beautiful under the eyes. Um, their shade range is really great and I love this. Lastly, for the makeup, I have three foundations that I used up. I feel like I would have used up more if it wouldn't have been for this pandemic just because right now I'm obviously wearing makeup less and when I do, I find myself using like a tinted moisturizer or just like spot correcting with concealer. But if it would have been a normal year, I feel like I would have used up more than three foundations, but all of these were great. The first one that I see here is the Tarte Multitasking Foundation. This had SPF 20 in it, really full coverage, but it didn't feel heavy on the skin. I finished up the Revlon Color Stay for oily to combination skin. I liked this at first and then it started to feel too heavy on me and I found that I was kind of just using this for the sake of using it up. This foundation on the other hand, absolutely love. I will totally be repurchasing this once I finish up a couple more of like my lighter coverage foundations. This is the e.l.f. foundation serum with goji berry. It also has SPF in it. It's an SPF of 25. Super lightweight, literally feels like you're putting water on the skin, but you can build it up to a pretty medium coverage. It looks beautiful on the skin regardless of your skin type. I used to use this when I was working at e.l.f. literally on anybody regardless of like if they had the oiliest skin in the world or like the driest skin. I just love this stuff. I literally used to use it like water and I miss it very much. Okay, lastly, let's go through the fragrances that I used up this year. First, we have a mini size of the Versace Bright Crystal, one of my favorite scents. It's super clean, but it doesn't smell like ultra mature. Then we have a mini size of the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Bourbon scent. I really wish I could find this again because it's one of those ultra warm, almost a little bit masculine scents, but I think they discontinued it, but I loved it. I just recently used this up. This is the Jo Malone Mimosa and Cardamom Cologne slash perfume. It just says cologne on here, but it's definitely a feminine scent. It smells amazing. It lasted all day. Um, it's very strong and it's very floral, which is something that I usually don't like. Um, so it kind of surprised me that I like enjoyed this scent so much, but it was really beautiful really delicate. I love Jo Malone. Up next, we have Killian's Kissing. Now, this perfume is definitely sweeter than what I typically go for, but I think it has like a little bit of amber or musk, something that makes it a little bit deeper, so I thought I'd really enjoy this. I'm glad I got the mini size because honestly, by the time I was done with it, I was ready for it to kind of be like out of my collection. Just a little too sweet for me, but I could definitely see a lot of other people enjoying this. And lastly, I finished up the mini size of the Replica Beach Walk perfume. This is like one of my go-to scents. If I'm not wearing this, it's usually um, Dior's Hypnotic Poison, and recently it's also been Marc Jacobs' Daisy, but this is so good. It smells like the summertime. It smells like sunscreen, coconut, pistachio. It's just, it's so good, but it's not super strong. It lasts on the skin all day. It's expensive, but it is totally worth it. But there you guys have it. That is all of the makeup, fragrance, and hair care that I used up in the year 2020. How do you guys think I did? Honestly, I think I did pretty good. I'm honestly really proud of myself. I feel like I went through a lot of products. I feel like I really got to enjoy what I have rather than like constantly bringing in new things. And it also definitely helped me kind of minimize is my overall like beauty product collection even more. Give this video a big thumbs up if you are excited for part two, which is all skincare, and also be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. We are trying to reach 5K, hopefully like, you know, by the end of February. That's like the next goal for this channel, so be sure to uh, click that button if you haven't already. Follow me on all of my other social media networks, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, subscribe to my podcast, check out my Amazon shop. I love you guys so much. I hope that you all are staying safe, happy, and healthy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.